In this video, I am going to tell you about what happens when you have your Rahu in the 11th house in the Navamansha chart. So let's start. If you want to take personal consultation, you can check the website and you can also uh, follow my WhatsApp channel and my Instagram. So let's start. Uh, so what happens when you have Rahu in the 11th house in the Navamansha chart? Okay. So Navamansha chart is a very important chart. It tells you about your life after marriage, your second half of life, your pending karmas and uh, what you are internally and what is the uh, strength of your whole horoscope, okay, like including everything, like what is the strength of your destiny. So this is what now mantra shows, right? And what are the fruits of your past life karma? Means it is like we can say the scorecard, the ultimate final scorecard of your life, right? So Rahu is unconventional planet which shows pending desires, which shows obsession, uh, which shows something we cannot let go. Rahu is very manipulative. Rahu is a chayagra and uh, Rahu shows uh, something which we need to fulfill, something lessons we need to learn, okay? So these are some things Rahu represents and Rahu in the 11th house and then 11th house shows you about your um, gains after marriage, the fulfillment of desires after marriage and what will be your desires after marriage or in the second half of life, how it will be fulfilled, will your desires be fulfilled and also do you have desire to get married or not, okay, these things, your friend circles after marriage and in the second half of life and depending upon your karmas what desires you will uh, get fulfilled and your gains your money wealth everything okay so very very important house 11th house is a very important house because ultimately everything is desire and if desire house is not good then nothing works out okay so rahu sitting in the 11th house see rahu is a, a materialistic planet and in the 11th house it gives you good results so it's a good placement here so regarding wealth definitely there will be inflow of wealth wealth will come from unconventional means especially okay not from conventional means but unconventional me means uh, from unorthodox manner your wealth can come it can be like uh, you can be social media influencer or a blogger or you must be doing something which people normally don't do and uh, like if you want to do any kind of business then uh, try some unconventional idea okay in your business it will definitely give you wealth right and regarding your desires after marriage or in the second half of life it will basically increase your desires because there are many unfulfilled desires which you have to fulfill and your soul wants to fulfill in this life. With Ketu here, your desires may get suppressed, but with Rahu, your desires will increase. In the past life, you were more towards relationship, you were more towards love, sacrificing or towards children, towards gaining knowledge. Your focus was not on wealth. In this life, you uh, you will be like wealth is important, success is important, friend circle is important, networking is important. These things are important in life. Without money, nothing can happen in our life. Okay, so this can be one perspective uh, depending upon the sign. Okay, so wealth will play a very important role in your life. In your past life, somewhere you wanted to sacrifice your desires, your needs for others. You did it. But in this life, you will not want to sacrifice your desires or your wants for someone else. You will be very much particular about the things you want to do in your life. And no matter what anyone says, you will never deviate from that. Okay, means if you have decided you want this means you want this okay if you decide you don't want to get married you will be firm upon that okay 
Rahu from here aspects was, uh, aspects was, uh, seventh house which increases expectations from the partner so if your expectations are not fulfilled you will not feel happy so it increases the desires and expectations from your partner and can give you unconventional marriage or a different culture or sudden marriage or some kind of unconventional stuff will be present in your marriage okay and there can be difference of opinion with your partner as well obstructions can also come in your marriage relationship uh, some adjustments you will have to make with your partner after marriage it's not going to be very easy because rahu creates obstructions so that's why and it's also possible that your interest in love relationship as you grow older may end or you may not uh, very much uh, feel about it okay or you may not very much want it okay because ketu goes in the fifth house and um, you can also want to do some social work uh, connecting with people uh, so if you want to keep yourself happy and uh, mentally uh, stress free engage yourself with community right and after marriage your engagement with community friends network will increase right you may want to always be present on social media or make new friends okay and you can also have foreign friends friends from foreign country this is highly possible see rahu co rules 11th house so it's very good placement here and if the dispositor is well placed then your desires will also get fulfilled rahu here give gives you many many desires but if dispositor is good uh, like conjunct dispositor is conjunct here or well placed even if it is in 6th house 8th house it's okay but you need to see that is that planet well placed there like sign it's good in it's with friends so if these things are there then uh, your desires will definitely get fulfilled okay it will increase your desires okay rahu here can increase your uh, pending desires of the past lives which you want to fulfill and one thing is also possible easy gains because rahu gives you uh, rahu is what uh, it is very unconventional or uh, very clever so from your mind from your cleverness you can get lots of money without putting much efforts okay so here you will gain money through your smart work not your hard work okay hard work is different thing yes we need it but more your smart work uh, will be uh, used here uh, will be important here okay you and your spouse can get famous together uh, okay after marriage and you can get fame recognition but yes you need to be careful with the wrong people and manipulative way of earning money you need to be very careful with regards to wealth money okay you don't have to be greedy here or make wrong decisions regarding wealth okay someone can like tell you that you can earn lots of money in this scheme or that scheme so don't do that okay uh, you need to be very careful with your investment decisions with your wealth decisions and you can get uh, famous with your partner as well rahu here also aspects the third house uh, which shows that you uh, after marriage you can live in another place or uh, uh, uh the place the neighborhood that you will have it will uh, it will consist of people from different community or culture or uh, you may not much get along with them okay and also uh, it increases your short journeys and uh, you uh, you will focus on the improvement in the relationship with your siblings okay so overall it's a good placement for your uh, fulfillment of desires and everything and ketu in the fifth house can kind of decrease your interest in the love relationships after marriage okay so this is possible rest you need to see how venus is placed how uh, rahu just posture is placed how seventh lord is placed to tell you about the real essence of your marriage so thank you so much i hope uh, this video was helpful 
May God bless you. May God fulfill all your wishes and desires. Bye.